Now to the story of one young woman's incredible journey to recovery. Just over a year after she was told she may never walk again, Mackenzie Baxby is back doing what she loves and sharing a message. CTV's Leah LaRock has her story. All right, we're ready. There was never any doubt in Mackenzie Baxby's mind that she would ski again. I was determined to get back to it for sure. An incredible task, considering what happened just over a year ago on a ski hill right, yeah. near Montreal. Yeah, I fell, hit a patch of ice onto my back, and unfortunately I went headfirst into a tree. From, from that point, I instantly lost all feeling in my entire body, from my neck to my toes. The 26-year-old was rushed to a hospital and told she may never walk again. So I broke my neck and my back. I broke my C1, my C2, my C5, 6, 7 cervical um, spine, and then I broke my T1 to T6, my thoracic spine. I had compression cord syndrome. Despite Mackenzie's extensive and serious injuries, she says there was one thing that saved her life that night. She was wearing a helmet. So this is the helmet I was wearing uh, the night of my accident. It was from POC. It's a great helmet. But as you can see, I made impact kind of there. And then the ripple effect, I guess, kind of going down the back. After intense therapy in a few months, Mackenzie did walk again. <laughs> you walk in. You walk in. Oh, Mackenzie. Okay, I took that first step and I was just over the moon. I knew from there I was going to be okay. Now skiing, less than 13 months after her accident. So much fun. It's such a beautiful day, too, to be out skiing. So An uphill journey of recovery, full of determination and love. Two months before my accident, I was engaged. My main focus the night of my accident, when I didn't think I'd ever walk again, was to walk on uh, my wedding day, walking down the aisle. Yeah, so in September, we're getting married, and I will be, like, running down the aisle. <laughs> Leela Rock, CTV News.